this is the April Art Snacks box. We're going to open it up, see what's inside, and then draw something with it. I keep getting ads on Facebook for the Art Snacks box, and like in the ad they go whoop, whoop, and then the art supplies are just on the table. Not working for me. <laughs> I could try something else. Whoa. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> It worked! So inside the April box, we've got a banana flavored Laffy Taffy. Oh, delicious. We also have the April sticker. It's green with an interesting geometric pattern. And then the actual art supplies are all contained in here. There's nothing loose. So let's find out what those are and see what we'll be drawing with. Ooh, it's a, oh, okay. Ooh, purple, purple. This looks like it is the, the Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencil with permanent color. I'm gonna guess that means it's light fast is what the luminance means. I don't know if it actually like draws really pretty. It's holding its own against this like highlighter paper. Let me grab my sketchbook, which I always keep handy on my desk. People always ask, how do you fill a sketchbook so quickly? And the biggest tip I can give you to draw more is to keep the paper in your face, right? Because <laughs> if you have to get up and go find it, you probably won't unless you like inspiration strikes you like a lightning bolt. But if you're just feeling like doodling, it needs to be handy, you know? Anyway, let's look at this. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of colored pencils, <laughs> but as far as they go, that's a very pretty color. All right, next up, I'm gonna save this for last because I'm excited about it. This looks like, oh, a Zebra Sensations double-ended brush pen. So one end is a brush. You can get a variety of line weights. It doesn't look like it does. Maybe it's hidden in there. Ah, look at that. <laughs> it feels very similar. Oh, okay. I see a difference now. It's a little bit stiffer, I'd say. So it's easier to get those thin lines like that, which is my preference in a brush pen. Let me set these up like a professional here. Does this have glitter on it? The Iron Lac Pump Action Paint Marker. Shake well to mix paint before use. Pump nib on test surface to test to start paint flow. Replace lid tightly after use. You gotta love art supplies with instructions. Let's, let's try this guy out. Oh, you can see the paint dispersing. It's not quite the color I was expecting, but I guess that's the color of the ink and this is the color of the lid. It's got a nice chisel end, and then you can also use the tip of it for a finer line. It says it's the purple shimmer color. Maybe when it dries, I'll see the shimmy shims. Let's see, what is this thing? The Pentel Orens One Click Mechanical Pencil, which is apparently retails for $9. So what do you do? Click once to extend this to start writing. Um. Oh, there we go. I see something. Is that really how it's supposed to work? This is bewildering. So it says, wait, 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 wait. I need more space to think. It says you only click it once. Click. And then it's supposed to, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, see, look, it just, I use it up and then it shrinks back into it and then it doesn't do anything. Did I like break it or is that? <laughs> ah, how do I like reset it? Let me, uh, let me look inside. See if I, okay. Okay, pushed it once, nothing. Pushed it twice, nothing. Pushed it three times, something just fell out of it. <laughs> pushed it four times. Ooh, we got some got something visible here. Oh, yeah, I think it might be working. It still feels scratchier than like I would <laughs> prefer. Cause I feel like I'm just rubbing. It feels kind of like you're doing this, but it's also drawing. I don't feel like I have control cause I like to draw from like the side of the pencil and this doesn't really allow you to do that. And then when the pencil starts running out, you have to click it again. And then you write again. Oh, see, that one allows me to do it a little bit. Okay, maybe this is just something you gotta kind of learn how to use. A problem I'm seeing right off the bat is that everything draws very dark and pigmented. See, if I were to put this marker in this blue pencil, 
next to each other, there's not a whole lot of contrast. Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> you can try and use one lightly next to it and that does create a small amount of contrast. This did say it was water-based, so we could try mixing a little water with this. I'm just gonna spray it. Boop. Did you see that? It created this funny like splat, like you dropped a grape or something. <laughs> what happens if I like wet the paper and then draw with this? Oh my gosh, it just like immediately became dark. I don't know why I was not expecting that. I felt like the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. Okay, we are getting a different tone, which is a plus. I need to make an announcement. <laughs> I've been using ELA sketchbooks for a while now. I think this is my third or fourth one. This is my first one since the restock. And every time I use any sort of watercolor, it creates this freckling and there's I am for sure that that never used to happen because I've used watercolors in these sketchbooks plenty of times. I feel like it has something to do with the way the paper was manufactured. Like there's little like pulpy bits that aren't consistent with the rest of the paper. So it creates these like, I don't know, blobs. And it's very ugly if that's not what you're looking for. I mean, you could always use it to your advantage, but seriously, that gets boring real quick. <laughs> but it's not gonna stop me from finishing this sketchbook. I already paid for it. <laughs> I'm gonna just sketch a face really quick. Get a handle on using this weird pencil that is more complicated than it needs to be. And then I'll try like layering some of the art supplies on top of it because sometimes you don't get a good grasp of how art supplies work until you try to use them together to make something real, to make something that's not just blobs, you know? <laughs> Let's do bigger ears than that. Come on, don't be stingy. Just using this pencil for like, I don't know, 40 seconds. I am noticing that it's very, very slim and I'm feeling a strain in my wrist that I don't usually feel when I draw. So I don't know if that has to do with the size of this pen pencil. It doesn't seem like it's any different. Maybe I just need to be looser. Maybe I'm just too tense. I just need to loosen up. Ah, there's no eraser here. Or is there? All right, so now I just want to try and layer some art supplies. Not sure how I want to go about this. We're pretty limited today in our palette and our choices. Um, kind of just want to like throw this everywhere and see what happens. What if, that'd be kind of interesting to experiment. What if I like draw a box with this paint? Oh, I'm seeing the shimmers in this one. Maybe it just needed to be used a little more. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some water on a paintbrush and like paint the hair with the color from the uh, weird colored section. See what happens. Eh, might have waited too long, it's a little dry. I could also just try taking a wet brush and dabbing that. Okay, that works. And I'm also going to add some to the face. Just add some color there so it's not white. Then, let's see, what can we do with the blue thing? Color in the eyes, maybe. Yeah, just add some like color variation anywhere I can fit it. Okay. All right, I'm not feeling too inspired by the direction of this, but this is reminding me of cotton candy, which we could try and explore further. <laughs> Give her a blue bodysuit. With like a heart-shaped keyhole. All right, I'm starting to see the shimmer in that pen. Can you see it? I see the shimmer in the paint and the purple bits. That would be fun for like a superhero bodysuit. <laughs> this can go on anything. That's actually surprising. Let's give her a mask, a superhero mask. Just eyeballing it. I'm not sure how do people usually draw those around the eyes. I feel like I always get too close. Touch up the lips a little. Maybe some earrings. All right, this feels a lot cooler now that I've added some darker tones to the face. So now there's a lot more contrast there instead of it all being super pale. Oh, something I didn't use was uh, this brush pen. Let's see where this might work pretty well. You can always use it to make the eyes pop. Heck to the yes. Okay, this is actually looking pretty cool. I wonder if we can like add some subtle hearts to the background. Cause this pencil is matte and the paint mark is actually more shiny. 
kind of interesting. Hmm. Let's play around and see what happens. Maybe some hearts instead. You know what? The hearts kind of look like bats, and that makes her feel a little bat girly. We'll make one of these a bat. Ooh, what if we made a van? I wonder if we could paint a vampire. We could use like the blue and the purple for the skin. Because vampires are like traditionally really pale because they can't go out in the sun, right? See how crazy that could be? Like you draw a random little bat and then you see it next to these colors and I immediately just thought vampire for some reason. So take a pencil. Move over to this page. Let's try it. I know you guys want me to draw dudes. Nice pointy chin maybe. Some legs somewhere there. A neck. Maybe he's standing up pretty straight. Give him some good posture. Nice little nose. Do a really high neck collar shirt thing. Let's give him curlier hair. I feel like most vampires I see have very straight hair. Let's give him a, something curly. I think a cape is in order. Nice swishy one. And then I'll make his stance a little bit more strong. Like he's withstanding the wind that's blowing his cape. Maybe a tie. Not sure I'm gonna make all these colors work for this, but we'll find out. Ooh, stripey pants. Okay, wait, 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 sorry. I don't know, I just got really excited about that for some reason. Let's see if he's got a pocket here, he can put his hand in his pocket. I didn't leave enough room for his feet. I'm gonna give him a smile. He's like, welcome to my castle. I've lived forever, so I've amassed a large fortune. Working minimum wage for, for over a thousand centuries. Just to go over everything, I'll just make sure it's the way I want it to look before we start adding in some color. So I'm gonna do a very, very light wash all down the leg. I just realized I never finished <laughs> drawing his feet. And then I wanted a little bit around the face to give him that like pale look. I want to make sure I don't get too close to anything that's wet or it will bleed. And then when this is dry, I'll use like the tip of the chisel and try and draw those stripes. Kind of just looks like a hat now. That was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> kind of dry. We can try and uh, add some pin stripes. All right, now I'll take this blue pencil. See where we can stick this. Hmm, not crazy. Not we. Hmm, wait. Mm. I think I'm pro the problem I'm facing with this illustration in particular is the way that I've laid out the colors. I kind of just went with it and I didn't really think about it beforehand. You're kind of just like, oh, I think this one would look good here. But then when it came to choosing colors for other elements of the drawing, it's kind of too late to fix anything. Hmm. Oh, well, I didn't use this. Let's just go over it <laughs> with some black fine liner and see how I feel about it. Let's see what changes we need to make for the next drawing. Very purpley. <laughs> can also take this and add some depth to the background. Make it look like he's standing in the night. All right, this one I like the sketch better. This one I like the finish bit better. I wonder what's different about them. Try going over some more areas with this pencil maybe. It does look a little different now. A little bit more improved, I'd say. I might try and just add some purple to the cape. With my paintbrush and water. Just give it some tone. Hmm, maybe I'll throw in some of this. Ooh, watch it spread where it's wet. Add some fringe to the end of this. Make it a little spoopy. All right, I think what makes this one a little bit more compelling than this one is I got a little too dark and everything is very heavy. Whereas this one, even though it's heavy, it gets light and then it gets heavy again. And that creates that contrast, which makes it a little bit more visually appealing in my eye. So for this one, I guess I could have made like the blouse white, but I think I had it that way and I didn't like it, which is why I added the purple, so. Ponder, 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 right? <laughs> I think what I'm going to do for the finished illustration, wait, maybe I should just keep that to myself and start doing it. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm gonna switch over to some paper though. All right, moving on to a 
piece of watercolor paper because I think that'll hold up to the water that I want to use with this a little bit better. Got a piece of Canson XL Mixed Media watercolor paper. We'll grab our pencil and start sketching. I think it would be cool to just do torso up sort of illustration of our vampire boy, man. Then I want him to have like a big proud stance so his chest will be a little bit poofed. I also think I want him a little sl more slender than that. Just erase this just a smidge. Simplify that a little. It's distracting me. Let's keep that collar. A little, uh, this little, uh, vest. I liked his hand being up. I don't know if you can see that, but I liked his hand being up near his face, like around here. When drawing hands, a good rule is that if you take your own hand and put it on your face, how much does it cover? So if we were to take his hand and put it over his face, how much would that cover? And that's a pretty good general rule. I think it's very similar with almost everyone. Okay, I don't understand what I just did with that finger. He's all like, hmm. Oh. That's the thumb. <laughs> a little bit more detail into the face. Go some crazy eyebrows here. Let's chisel away at some of these features. Try to figure out how I want them. If I don't like them, I can always erase them. Obviously. It's that curly hair. Make it a little bit less modern, maybe. Bring some abstract shapes in the background to be able to fill in with that dark purple. I think that'll be fun. I'm trying to make them sort of spooky and shattered looking. Something feels very unnatural about his face, and I don't know what it is. And it's not in a supernatural way that I like <laughs> or that I'm going for. I'm gonna try a little harder, see if I can fix it before I. Take the eraser to everything. Let's sharpen some of these features. Make them a little more pointy, maybe. Ooh, I think we're getting somewhere. I'm liking this a little better. <laughs> and don't know why I'm rendering this so much. You probably will not see this at the end, but this is always my favorite part, so I'm enjoy I'm not going to enjoy this. Although my battery is running low, so let's hope we make it through. <laughs> I do want to slim down a bit. Match his face a little more. Getting a little more used to using this pencil. But I still don't love it. <laughs> Alright, since I've cut off the legs, I think I do want the stripes in our vest here. Oops, I don't think that's where the stripe would be. Yeah, definitely. Now the only thing I need to like really figure out what it needs to look like is this hand and then I can start adding in the color. Location of the arm feels awkward to me. I'm gonna have the sleeve rolled up. So it's gonna be a little bunched up here on the edge. Something like that. All right, now I wanna be careful with the, well, wait a minute. How did I do it with this one? The face is lighter than the hair. So let's go in and do, I wonder if it would soak in less on this thing. See if we can use this as a palette. Let's see if we can do the hair. Oop, a little too dark. It's okay if we get a little texture because it's hair and hair is texture. <laughs> Re. We can go a little darker when we reach the edges. Okay, then we can add just the lightest bit of the purple around like the nose and the cheeks. Ooh, maybe even around the eyes. That'll make him look tired. Like he doesn't get sleep because of the sun. He doesn't have blackout windows or blackout blinds. And then also for the hands there. Yeah, something I like to do. Ooh, I'd say that's working. Nice! There you go, there we got a face. Now I think the next thing I did when I was making that girl face was I went in with some of this blue pencil. And I kind of just outlined some things that I wanted to be accentuated. This will work pretty well for like just adding some new hues. A little hue shift here and there. When I also used this for a lot of the shaping of the hair. Because we have that cotton candy look, if you remember. Let's add some to these eyebrows. 
so they're not so graphite-y. I might go over this again with another light wash of the purple to darken up the hair. Sideburns here. Ooh la la, there we go. They'll suit him. Wow. <laughs> Why weren't those there all along? Get these old dimension. They're probably gonna end up being filled in completely dark, so you won't see this, but I just wanna see what it'll look like. Let's see, next step. I do want to change up the color scheme. Well, it's not the color scheme. I do want to change up, like, the location of the colors and how I used them. I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring in these because that I know I want to be dark because I want that to contrast with, you know, everything else. That's a fun shape. <laughs> it's like a lightning bolt. And you'll notice I started on top left and I'm moving to the bottom right so that I don't put my wrist in the paint. What's kind of cool about this paint marker is it doesn't have a putrid smell. You know, a lot of paint markers are just very pugnant. And this one is not. And I appreciate that. I only thought of it because I just literally started smelling something just now. After you filling in all this area. And it's not strong at all. And then it occurred to me, whoa, this really doesn't stink, does it? <laughs> Some more here and there, and we should be done. Looks pretty shattered. I think that achieved my goal. Since the shirt interacts with the skin, you know, in both areas, that should be the next darkest, probably. We could fill it in completely black. I wonder how that would look. Not terrible, but not great either. <laughs> Can't be that bad, right? We are limited in our color choices here, so <laughs> desperate measures. I'm gonna leave some white space where I want like a little bit of variation. Like here, I kind of wanted there to be a shoulder seam. Or do I want it over here? Good question. I'll put it in both and then we can just color over the one I don't like. I don't think these pens were made for what I'm doing to fill in large areas. Let's see if we can get this other guy done. This other arm over here. Hey, it just got like a second wind. It's doing a lot better now. All right, next up, I want to make the stripey vest. I've been looking forward to this. So basically, I want to get my paintbrush and some of this. Add some water and some more water. Maybe even more water. Let's just fill in the whole area. Put a, a flat layer. And then maybe the tie could be like darker version of this washed out color. Maybe even look kind of shiny. Not bad. Then I could take like a lighter wash and layer over that. When we go over that with the pen, that'll help with that definitely. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Can add a little shading wherever we need it. Maybe fill in some of these gaps the pen left behind. Add a little shading underneath the hair. Separate those from each other. All right, we got some uh, dry vest down here, so we can take this. And I just want to make sure it's all dry. Okay, here we go. Let's draw some straight lines. Well, they're not gonna be perfectly straight, but they'll be like semi pin stripiness. I mean, they need to make some sense. Oop, that one got a little close there. It's okay, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Nice. I like this vest. <laughs> now for the tie, I think it'd be cool to try and incorporate this design from the sticker. So if you see, the sticker has this like triangly geometric pattern. I'm gonna try to draw that on this tie. Yeah, something like that. I don't think I understood the pattern right when I started, but I figured it out. Ah, what happened here? Oh dear. I'm making a mess. Let's go in and uh, use the blue pencil and add some more hue shifts around here. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that looks flipping awesome. I mean, using this blue as shading for the black. Ding, didn't think of that. It's like, sh it has a different, Shininess to it. Me likey. I wonder if I could add like a blue stripe. Well, of course I can, but we'll look at. Okay, then I also want to add some like designs. Oh, I just put my hand in that again. I also want to put some like designs in these, kind of like I did over there. Like some had hearts, some had stripes. 
also have one with stripies. Definitely seeing the shimmer now. I think I'm just about done, unless I want to add, let me try it, just another layer in the hair. Maybe darken that up so it has a little bit more contrast between it and the skin. There we go. Maybe I want to go over with the liner, see if that helps with anything. Mm, I kind of like the way we have it right now. I don't think it needs much more. And I don't want to go overboard with liner like I do <laughs> quite often. <laughs> anyway, so here's everything I made with the April Art Snacks box. And these were the supplies provided to me. I do want to thank Art Snacks for sending me this box for free. I didn't pay for it, but they also didn't pay me. So that's the gist of that. I will be passing these art supplies on to one of you. So check a link in the description for information on how to enter that giveaway. Uh, thank you for coming along with me on the process of creating these illustrations. I, just, I don't know, I just like drawing girls. So that one really speaks to me, but they were all really fun to draw. And I love the heavy purple impact that they all have. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.